today's adventure begins on Saturday morning, August 7th, as the recording of this, 2021. Looking out hotel window, about to check out and start the 400 mile commute from San Francisco back to Orange County, California. Got to stop off somewhere special though before heading out of the city. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Not only, well, Natalie here, San Francisco, the end of our visit here. And we have walked a heck of a lot on this on this, on this week. Yeah, like 80 miles all together. Oh, you totaled it up? Yeah, we did about nine to 10 miles a day. That sounds about right, up and down hills. Why not end it? with going across the Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah. Is it one of the wonders of the world? It's in definitely my, wonderful. In my eyes, it's one of the wonders. But aren't there eight wonders of the world? I think so. Seven. One of those is backside of water. <laughs> backside of water, definitely one. And there's plenty of water down there. There's also a fort, Fort Point. Yeah, it's a band and military base that you can explore. It's really yeah. cool. We're not going to be exploring anything abandoned today, but we are going to be looking from a distance and going completely across the bay Yay. that is very foggy, almost as foggy as my glasses are. <laughs> Just about. <laughs> my, my glasses are very, very foggy. Making our way back to SoCal here in NorCal, even though you said that's a very odd statement to say NorCal, <laughs> Northern California. Let's, do, let's go for a trek. Yeah. You know exactly how many miles it is across or how, how what the distance is if you had to guess? I don't know, it takes like 20 minutes, half hour to cross. I'm not sure exactly the distance. So like about a quarter of a mile. I think it's about like a yonder. Near and far? Near and far. <laughs> All right, invite you to join me and Natalie. Shall you? <laughs> and this is the man to thank for the idea of creating the bridge across the bay, Golden Gate, Joseph Strauss. As shown right down there. Oh, here we go, here's a Another placard. The man who built the bridge. Granted, he probably had a lot of help from others, but he, he was the one that came up with the idea of the bridge, and it would not exist if it was, it was not for his, his thought process over here. This shows construction back in 34. You can see they were just starting to put the, oh, oh, that's neat. Yeah, it starts off, so we got, there we go. We got 34, we got, let's go, 33, not a whole lot, 34, a little more construction. And then we go to 35, we got the pylons. Now we're going over to 36. 30, oh, here we go, go back. May 27th of 1937, look at that. And then we go back to 30, now we're going back in time. 35, it's kind of jumping all over the place. You get the idea. Before heading up those stairs to cross over, it's a little courtyard here. Yeah, there's the Palace of Fine Arts. We were there a couple days ago. Right there, look at that. Very impressive. Look at that, before the bridge was even there. Making the impossible possible. And here's a little setup, a little model, if you will, of how the suspension works. Suspension cable tension versus tower height. Pull on the rings to raise the roadway decks. Okay. All right. Let me pull on this ring. Whoa. There we go. So if I let go of the ring, it's not good for anyone driving over or walking over. The more tension, the thicker, stronger the cable must be. A bridge designed with towers twice as high above the deck as the Golden Gate Bridge is featured here. Engineers had to balance the advantages, advantages and disadvantages of tower height and cable size in the final design of the bridge. 
What are you doing over there? It, you can see the wind speed when you press your arm. Oh, this no kidding. It's like to feel how much force is needed to resist the wind. <laughs> okay. You have a hundred, you had a hundred and forty kph pressure. Wow. Pretty close to 140. Nice. Oh, look. Look at, look at Mr. Wind up here. <laughs> Stand back, Wind. Stand back! Not today, Wind. <laughs> That's the wind noise. Wind. <laughs> I did it. I don't know what I did, but I did it. You did it. Does seem as if the fog seems to be lifting just a little bit. Might have a pretty good view as we start to walk across there and give a little perspective over there. Way off in the thick fog or in the Carl, which, which is the fog's name, according to some, is Alcatraz. Ready to get walking? Yeah. Woo! Let's, let's get moving. Just wanted to inquire, Bird, exactly how many feet is it across the bridge? I'm about to get to stepping. I cannot fly across like you can. You don't know the distance? Okay, I'll figure it out. Thanks for your help. How the bridge sways, flutters, and vibrates during an earthquake. Oh, you're simulating an earthquake. <laughs> it's very safe to not only drive across, but walk across. Give me that earthquake again. My favorite thing about you simulating the earthquake is that bird I just talked to over there is just clearly not concerned at all. That, that bird is just like, nope. A little little shaking of the land never bothered me. <laughs> All right, we're going, bird. See ya. Not birdie. It's official. We are officially on the bridge. Strut too fast though. Being checked by radar. I thought someone in the road was honking, but it wasn't. It was this little vehicle going by. I thought someone on here in the traffic was honking, but it's this little golf cart going by. Good thing we were walking too fast. Very difficult to even see the top spires of the bridge up there because of the fog. Now there is an overlook here, that kind of little indentation outward that you can stand out on and look down into the fort that's down there. Oh, look at the wind. Well, maybe it's not the wind, it's the vibration of the cars is gyrating the metal fencing here, the, the, the chain link fence. See how it's just like the cars are shaking the, the fence? Getting a little bit of the city view there, the cityscape over in the distance, but yeah, a lot of fog, but you can see some of the skyscrapers off in the distance. And now completely over the water. Directly below, no more dry land, just the bay. Oh, and even more pelicans down there, scurrying across, and a fisherman. This is wild. All right, have to look real closely, but you can see there in the center of the screen, Palace of Fine Arts there on the shoreline. Tough to see, but it's in there.
and crisp and windy up here. Cannot express that enough. Very gusty. Brisk. There's the fort down there. You have found a non-windy spot out of, the, out of the, the cold air away from the wind in this little corner underneath the, the P, G, and E tower, which is named for the Pacific Gas and Electric Company in appreciation of its gift of light to the bridge. But you're just standing there because you want to be away from the wind, which I totally get because, whoo, gusty. I've seen this in other places too along fence lines, usually on bridges. People will put locks, they will take these locks and they will clamp them on. This is more or less the middle, right through here, in between the two pylons that kind of go up. A little bit of some construction scaffolding down there. And it's so foggy, Alcatraz has been completely engulfed in the fog straight ahead. There's also a light right here like a beacon, possibly to ships or maybe to see from the shoreline. There's a boat coming across the bay right there. Yeah. This is the middle of the bridge. Want to grab the middle of the bridge? The middle. Got it. Yes. All right, now heading back into the wind. Now we're walking into the wind. Woo, we went halfway across, now going back. Oh yeah, more gusty walking this way. We're going directly into not only the traffic, but also the wind. This is an experience. And if you ever have any ideas about climbing the bridge, they have not only they have some barbed wire here, razor wire, going up to the top, and if you decide to head up this little stanchion into the fog, there is another barricade up there. It makes it very difficult. Starting to lift again just for a moment, getting that cityscape view. It was pretty thick, but kind of goes in and out, the fogginess. Now I just checked the distance to walk to the halfway point of the bridge and back, meaning that if you were to walk the bridge in one direction, one way. Was 5,481 steps. Got about halfway. Boy, it was brisk up there and very windy. Also paid to park for two hours and it was getting pretty close. So headed back. Dang, I was halfway across the bay there on this classic landmark. Yeah, we're gonna drive, are we gonna drive across the Bay Bridge? Yeah, we're gonna drive across the Bay Bridge to get back. So when we leave, you're fixing your hair because it was windy. It's so windy. <laughs> so we're gonna hit both bridges on the way out. Both bridges. And there's a toll on the way into the city, but not on the way out. Not on the way out. So if you come across this way when you're heading in, so across here would be Berkeley, Oakland over there. No, that's Sausalito. Berkeley and Oakland are over there. Okay, Sausalito. That's like Marin County. Gotcha. Berkeley over in that direction. Sausalito. Sausalito, Marin County. Bay Bridge is um, Oakland and Berkeley. Okay, Oakland, Berkeley, and Alameda. Alameda's over there. Oh, Alameda's over there. Okay, I'm getting my bearings. <laughs> the Bay Bridge. Past Alcatraz over there is the way we're exiting out of the city and southbound. Ah, I can kind of see it over there through the haze. The Bay Bridge. Walked across one, gonna drive across the other. a couple hours 
arrived at this windmill just off of the freeway, off the five. Santa Nella is the name of the town. And there is a place called Pea Soup. It's a pea soup restaurant called Anderson's, right underneath the windmill blades. Santa Nella. Wonder who's cooking up the pea soup. Oh, you're cooking up the pea soup. I don't know why, but I think I'm smashing something with a hammer. Am I smashing the peas with a hammer? Now I also got a chicken sandwich, but I did get a bowl of the soup. It comes with a side, but I asked for a large bowl of soup. Inside the gift shop, I got myself a magnet for a refrigerator. I always like to collect souvenirs. And a little to-go can of Anderson's split pea soup here. 15 ounces. Probably should have bought more than one, but I think one will be will be good. Anderson's pea soup here in Santa Nella. Right underneath the windmill. Traveled exactly 99 miles down the road. Now arrived at a place called Bravo Land here in the middle of the desert. A little stagecoach over here. A few horses. They're not real horses, made of plastic. Out here in the desert. No wind. Look, these flags aren't even moving. And check it out. Bravo land. Got a windmill up there. Oh, what was that noise? Something coming from out from inside this water wheel. No water, it's all dried up. So there's no wind and no water. And the heat index considerably different than we were earlier this morning going across the bridge because it is, gosh, it is hot out here. Major difference in the weather. Ooh, they have nitro coffee. I might have to, I might have to get a piping hot caffeinated beverage. Oh, this is cold coffee. Maybe they have one. No way. Hey, you want to hear a joke? I do. Where do cowboys go for their meals? Cowboys go for their meals. On the range. On the range. <laughs> they cook their meals on the range. <laughs> and they did have a hot coffee. Very, very warm. In fact, I'm holding onto the little cardboard sleeve and it's even seeping through the heat of that. And you can see just behind the buildings, all desert out there. You can go up to the second floor and walk down through the shack here. Pretty neat little little pit stop. Like an oasis almost. Oh, what's this? 25 cents, 10 cents per show. I have another dollar. <laughs> Does it take dollars? Yeah. You could do a crow, a chicken, a school bell, a train horn, a sign, or a stamp mill. Which one do you want to do? Well, they're 10 cents each. This chicken just laid an egg for 10 cents. Actually, it laid a couple of eggs. You can see the eggs down in there. You know, wait, what's the next one you're going to do? Uh, school bell? <laughs> oh! Oh, that's cool. Wow, okay, train horn. There's the train horn up there. Okay, what's the next one? Uh, sign? Oh, train horn's not done. Sign it. What? I, what? Is that? I don't know what, I understand what he said, but. Let me press it again. Yeah, do it again. <laughs> okay, and lastly, the stamp mill. There it goes. Oh, the stamp mill. Okay, it's stamping down there. This is pretty dang cool. I would have never guessed this was in this little shack. What? Oh no, he's not feeling not feeling good. Oh my gosh! Cheese and rice. That was disgusting, crow. I've never seen a crow that had a bowel movement as a tourist attraction before. First thing for anything, get the crow again. 
can pan for gold. Do you? All right, back on the road. That's going to do it for today. Made it back to the greater Los Angeles area. Only a few miles down to Orange County. We'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over. <laughs>